Hey YouTube, Further73 here, enjoying uh, some more of the rainy evening here in this Indiana autumn. And the humidity is just playing havoc with this stash. It's kind of got a mind of its own today. It just will not, I don't know. It's doing its own thing. Almost needs its own zip code. It's getting so big and out of hand. Uh, been watching some tobacco reviews and, and one thing or another and listen to the Pipes Magazine radio show. I don't know if you guys have ever checked that out on the uh, Pipes Magazine forums online, but they uh, they put out a really nice uh, hour-long talk show on pipes on uh, on Tuesday nights. Uh, but anyway, listening, listening to that, I kind of went through and I did a serial excuse me, did kind of a serial listening spree on that, getting caught up. They've been doing it for about two years. I listened to one episode right after another. And somewhere along the line, I picked up that 90% uh, of the pipe tobacco sold in the U.S. is aromatic. And, you know, you hear, you hear everybody on YouTube talking about this aromatic or that English or, you know, whatever it is they're smoking. And... Uh, Always on Facebook, I'm seeing uh, seeing people asking, well, you know, I've never tried an English tobacco. All I've ever smoked is aromatic. What's a, what's a good what's a good first English or you know non-aromatic tobacco to try? I've kind of been thinking about that a little bit, and there's a couple of them that I think I would recommend. One of them I don't have handy right here, but it's kind of a good borderline aromatic more of a natural but it's got some casing to it but it's it's not uh, it's not a captain black or a lane one q or a, a really fruity aromatic like some of them uh, just good old prince albert you know it's uh, it's a burly blend it's really mild in flavor it it's got more flavor than most aromatics i think and it's cheap it's dirt cheap it's like three dollars here locally for a for an ounce and a half pouch uh, not bad if you want to, I would say if you're just getting into pipe smoking and you don't know if you want to make any kind of an investment, you don't want to spend, you know, 15 or $20 on a premium tin tobacco just to see if you're going to like it, pick up a cob and, and some uh, Prince Albert and see what you think. But uh, going back to the English and the, the non-arrows, I would say a good first crossover type blend would be... Uh, Frog Morton Cellar. Uh, it's actually packed. I'm sure most of all of you experienced pipe smokers know this already, but uh, the big tins come packed with a with a large size cube of an oak barrel stave from a whiskey barrel, and uh, the 50 gram tin the gram tins come with uh, a little chunk. And I kind of like to I like to keep the old chunks in with the new tobacco, but you open it up and you smell it. And uh, you know all the all the all the Frog Mortons I've had, they've all got kind of a barbecue sauce, uh, wood smoke kind of campfire scent to them. But this one's got a it's got a sweetness from those from the whiskey. I don't know if it's cased or if it's actually getting all of that that flavor and smell out of these cubes. But it's got a really nice uh, sweet aroma to that smokiness that kind of balances the Latakia. The Latakia is not really in your face and, and overwhelming like it is with a lot of Englishes. Uh, some might disagree, but I'd call this a, a mild English crossover. But the uh, the whiskey, the whiskey and the tobacco gives it kind of a sweet butterscotch flavor on the back of your palate when you smoke. It's and it's no bite. You can get it really reasonable online or pick it up locally for about twice. But anyway, good uh, good first tobacco, I would say, for a, for a crossover blend. And, uh, you know, looking at it, it's uh, it doesn't look real intimidating. You know, it's got a, you can see you can see the Latakia in there. There's some some uh, I'm guessing maybe some lighter Virginias or, or some Burleys in there, but uh, it's a nice balanced smoke, good flavor, and, and uh, 
I'd say if somebody wants to try an English or a, a non-arrow for the first time, Frog Morton Cellar, you can't go wrong. Uh, the other the other one I would recommend is the one that you guys have seen me smoke every video I've made so far, and that's uh, Frog Morton Original. Out of all the frogs, this is uh, this is my favorite, I think. It's, it's actually a toss-up between these two. Sometimes this one gets a little bit sweet, a little too sweet for my taste. After a while, it, it gets... Uh, I don't know, you kind of want to break from it once in a while, but the original frog, you smoke it all day long, day in, day out. You know, it, uh, it's got a little sweetness to it, but it's not overpowering. Nice and smoky. It's uh, perfect for this time of year, you know, perfect autumn smoke. Uh, really enjoyable tobacco. Uh, I noticed, I picked up some... Uh, it, uh, across the pond, I think, they had the Syrian Latakia, which is a little harder to come by, especially given the things going on in Syria, than the, uh, the Cyprian Latakia. And it's definitely a different flavor, and I can't say that I'm a fan. I, uh, I kind of like the, uh, the Cyprian Latakia a little bit better, I think, than the Syrian. But anyway, there's a, there's a few choices for maybe... Uh, some of you newer pipe smokers or era only smokers that want to try a non-aromatic or an English style tobacco blend, uh, check out the check out the whole Frog Morton series really. But uh, if you like something a little on the sweeter side, I'd go for the Frog Morton Cellar. If you like something, you want to try something a little smokier but still balanced and smooth, the original Frog you can't go wrong with. And if you just want to try a cheap, can't really say non-aromatic, but lesser aromatic, not not heavily cased tobacco. Pretty tough to go wrong with the old Prince Albert. I mean, you know, that's what all the old guys at the drugstore used to smoke. You know, it's been around for a hundred years. Got to be something right about it. So, anyway, YouTube, sweet smokes. That's all for now. We'll uh, catch you later.